ना कोई ट्रैकिंग कंपनी हूँ ना मैं कोई एनालिसिस What made you say yes this is the film that I want to do Um it was an instant yes and an easy yes and uh, the what will be answered when you watch the movie uh, very very obviously I'm sure y'all can already get the feel of it uh, with the trailer uh the subject itself is uh, fabulous because it's a wonderful uh, thriller of a story uh it's uh, it speaks about a lot of things on a lot of different levels very very relevant very very uh, important very very meaningful and um it's the absolute language of one's heart so it was an easy yes and that coupled with the maker itself and the incredible team beginning here with of course irfan as you see but an incredible team that we have brought on board so it was our um, it was an immediate wish list uh, i think when sanjay and me were sitting together and uh, going through the script um, this is the cast that we saw and when that actually comes true uh, you i mean uh, being thankful is an understatement uh, for um, you know when for the entire team so as uh, an uh, actor and as an artist i was just so grateful that uh, all the actors consented and came on board because that's Hello. just the way we saw it and um yeah it's been a superlative experience i think i've answered all the million questions possible today but yeah so big congratulations to during your absence there was a time when a revolution came where uh, women when many, many women centric movies were not only critically successful but they were many commercial successful also so what do you want to say about it and do you think that jazbaz also will be the part of that revolution wow suddenly he reminds me of an absence <laughs> so because very honestly um i haven't felt it i haven't um, felt being absent though obviously i mean going by time and the number of releases that we do have of course um i wasn't making movies but uh, in uh, a lot of the ladies here will nod and who have who completely experienced what i am wonderfully experiencing right now we have no concept of time and we don't realize how time flies by so <laughs> being a working mother um it's um i i really uh, did not uh, delve into this absence factor and probably that's why i have not necessarily focused on uh, the comeback term there's no going away from it there's no running away from it and there's uh, it will forever be the comeback film so <laughs> uh i'm not denying it but when i turn around and say that i i haven't felt it that's just the way it is and when you're talking about um uh, subjects and movies uh getting their due uh it's always the audience's verdict and uh, it would be wonderful if um if the world wouldn't view it as we artists do that is we don't really i think and i'm daring to speak even on your behalf if i mean you please add contribute but i don't think we get into a movie compartmentalizing it as any kind of centric you know i mean really the the dash centric because here we are just coming on board having a story unfold and being told to the viewer and i honestly believe even viewers don't necessarily label it but i think once that impression is kind of set then that's the way it gets articulated so um we are here making movies and we are always in the hope that every movie that we make appeals to the audience the viewer because that's who it's being made for and um that's pretty much as innocent <laughs> as our uh, entire approach is i think when we make movies but um if um, subjects of a variety today are being uh, obviously um appreciated enjoyed by the audience and um accessible to a to a wider more receptive audience and that makes it a very exciting time for us in the movies as as in all of us here be it the producers the directors the writers the actors i think it's an exciting time in cinema and that we as the creative people are very grateful for because it just makes our time more uh, we get to enjoy a variety as well uh, sanjay you know, gupta sir sanjay like gupta when sanjay gupta is directing a film is sanjay gupta centric film absolutely <laughs> uh, sanjay sir that. sanjay sir uh, <laughs> 
this movie is is it a remake of a south korean movie seven days because the storyline is uh, quite similar with that it, it is a remake i'm not at a liberty to tell you what film it is but it is a remake of a korean film I so have I you directly lifted the movie and the especially in the basis of the violence it has been adapted I, I, I can tell you one thing. I have not uh, seen any movie when I have come on board to do this movie. We have received a script, and we have done a Sanjay Gupta film. <laughs> as clear as that. Ashwari Ritesh from ETV. My question is that how much was the challenge of playing a lawyer and what were the preparations for this role? Yes, you have to understand that I have been playing a lawyer for the first time. So obviously, it did entail a certain degree of uh, um, educating oneself about really what the life of a lawyer is like, what uh, me and Sanjay shared about what the real scene is like. Because kahina kahi hamlo ki jo impressions hai, um, and wonderfully so. I think we, that's why we always say cinema is a part of our culture. Because uh, we virtually uh, grow up believing that's the way life is. So uh, uh, we do have a certain um, impression of what a courtroom scenario is from cinema that we have enjoyed watching for years. And that is somewhere, if none of us have had absolute first-hand experiences uh, <laughs> legally, which God bless uh, all of us here, <laughs> hopefully not too many, then uh, that remains our impression. But Sanjay obviously gave a deeper insight into what the real scenario is, and we wanted to keep it as real as we could. And that's the way we have played it out, uh, with the conviction of a lawyer, with not necessarily the dramatics that you would. We let the, the, the moment have its drama rather than the way you're playing out the moment. I think that was a very important brief that Sanjay shared with us, and that's what we try to st stay truest to. She called him an international star. She's an inter no less an international uh -huh. star. Now, with two international stars, how did you blend the international appeal with the Indian appeal? And uh, do you think this is the film that will make the you know the much uh, anticipated breakthrough in world cinema See, for Indian uh, cinema? Yeah, yeah, Rajiv. I'm, I don't want to uh, make any claims that you know we're making a film to cross the borders and this and that. But uh, there is an uh, intention in place. Uh, there are cuts of the film being readied. It's being uh, dubbed and released widely all across uh, the UAE. It's being dubbed in Arabic. We're also dubbing it in uh, other South, uh, South American languages and English. So there are uh, international cuts with a slightly shorter length that will be uh, going out, apart from the obvious uh, diaspora release. Uh, if uh, sir, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I'd like to add to that. Sir, I'm nationally national. Hai. Bohoti national hai. It's just that jab bhi kahi bar mujhe introduce kiya jata hai, to ya to Miss World ko reference hoti hai, ya wo international beauty title ka reference hota hai, ya international presence ka reference hota hai. To isliye maine kaha ki, bhai, I'm very very thankful for the opportunities Destiny has given me. But uh, honestly and very very truly, as you all see, I'm not the only uh, fortunate one. And uh, that is why <laughs> I made that reference there. But when we did this film, we were happy as actors to come on board. And it isn't about all the adages that go with it. <laughs> uh, how different was uh, for you to play a cop role from that of Good Day with all the punchlines? Uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think of cop at all. I was thinking of punchlines. And you know, it's a Sanjay Gupta film. And I had great time uh, you know, saying those punchlines. My uh, attraction was at punchlines. You know, I wanted to deal with punchlines. And I love them sometimes. You know. And uh, in this film, there are a few, and you will you will remember them when you come out of the theatre. Uh, it'll make your life colourful. <laughs> my punchlines. My favourite is there. I don't know whether I should reveal them now. or No. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is uh, there is a point where one of my guy asks, "Ke uh, Ashwarya comes and meets me, and she goes away, and she he asks, 'Tumne jaane diya?' He says." Uh, मोहब्बत थी इसलिए जाने दिया जिद होती तो बाहों में होती ऐश्वर्या इस साइड में हाँ दोबारा वापसी पर आपके सामने संजय गुप्ता जैसे डायरेक्टर और इधर इरफान जैसे एक्टर तो 
किस तरह की स्पेशल तैयारियां करनी पड़ी आपको या सीधे मैदान में उतर गई आप इनसे इन पूछिए <laughs> नहीं आप ही बताइए ना जहाँ तक काम का सवाल है तो सीधे मैदान पे ही उतर आए लेकिन जो नॉर्मल जो हमारी प्रेपरेशन होती है मीटिंग्स होती है ऑब्वियसली आई मीन ये नहीं कि कल बोले और आज जाग गए और सेट पे गए तो जो नॉर्मल हमारी प्रोफेशनल जो प्रेपरेशन होती है वो तो रही ही लेकिन सच पूछे तो इसलिए हम यही कहते हैं कि आई थिंक यू नो कई सालों से हम ये सुने हैं हमारे सीनियर्स को कहते हुए कि वंस एन आर्टिस्ट ऑलवेज एन आर्टिस्ट एंड दैट डेफिनेटली रिंग्स ट्रू एंड आई एम विटनेस टू इट विद माई ओन पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस क्योंकि कोई समय का गैप हो या ना हो उसका हमें हम उसे नहीं पहचानते और जो कला है एक कलाकार को उसे निभाने में ही जो संतुष्टि मिलती है जो खुशी मिलती है वो तो एक बहुत ही गहरी बात है और और उसे लफ्ज में उतारना बहुत मुश्किल है लफ्जों में उतारना सो आई थिंक दैट्स द सिंपलेस्ट ऑनेस्ट वे आई कुड आई कुड से इट बच्चन साहब मेरी जिंदगी आज बहुत घूम रहे हैं <laughs> मैंने बहुत उनकी फिल्में देखी थी उनकी फिल्में देख के मैं बड़ा हुआ ऐसा दौर आया कि वो आस बहुत हैं मैं कुछ एप्लीकेशन डाली है मैंने कि वो मुझे अडेप्ट कर लें अभी तक अप्रूव हुई नहीं है होगी तो बताऊंगा मैं आपको You have constantly prove everyone wrong, and you constantly do versatile roles and things. Now, recently, you also did a party song. So, do you uh, do that consciously, and uh, do you constantly try to reinvent yourself and do uh, and you know go beyond your limits? I think uh, what you are saying is right. Actually, I proved myself also wrong, and nobody thought I could become an actor. I also never thought I could become an actor, but there was a kind of a drive which uh, you know. propelled me to do this and uh, there is i think there is an instinct in me which uh, hates formality which uh, t- which tries to see things in right definitions you know whatever uh, i think i'm here to redefine things you know i i hate conventional things so it's it's an in- instinct you know it's <laughs> it's not very thought out thing you know it's something which comes in from inside me you know if there is a uh, formal atmosphere there will be an instinct within me which will try to disrupt it you know so it's a, you know it's it's a god given uh, curse or you know blessing i don't know he had to change that too he he didn't want to say god given blessing god given child curse <laughs> just let's let's just say that differently <laughs> saying the same thing but let's say it differently <laughs> uh, ashwarya yeah. hi um god i again i guess i'll be now sounding similar to him that i probably don't um, fall into the conventional responses and reactions that people are seeking and uh, and then they focus on the giggle like i now realize i just did a second ago uh, but um see the point is i have always enjoyed the process uh, of the making of the film that's what's most precious to me because that's what i live with that's my life that's my everyday and i have said this for years it's um, we are in an industry and and we recognize that and of course uh, when you hear that a film has made the money invested firstly and then of course the profits it's it's gratifying for the business of the cinema when the film has appealed to your audience um it's extremely creatively uh, satisfying and that's what we as a team would always look for and seek um but when you when the reference is made to butterflies and nervousness i i get very gobsmacked about what kind of an answer to give because i don't know whether saying of course i get nervous will humanize me or saying that no i mean you know we have we have made the baby and the baby is out there to live its life you know it's 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 like let the birds fly 
and uh, it will live its life it will find its journey and uh, hopefully the flight is a wonderful one and that's what the team aspires but beyond that uh, it's not about um, it's never been about butterflies so i so that's consistent from my last film to this <laughs> uh, irfan i want to know uh, after comical uh, piku there is a intensive talwar and now jazba so how do you opt for a, uh, your script i just go by the instinct you know the if the is uh, if the story pulls you if the director is if the jazba has been made by some other director i would have definitely by you know considered something else but i know that you know what the director is capable of doing so you rely on director you rely on your uh, you know the way uh, there's a there's a bell which rings when you hear a script or you when you hear your role and that makes you decide you know and you also look at the producer you know whether he's going to uh, put it you know present it properly or not you know all these considerations are there but f first and foremost is you know uh is th there should be a you know ting ting in your heart when you listen to the script you know irfan sir kaisa raha sets pe ashwarya ji ke sath kaam karne ka aur aapka kaisa raha anubhav dono log ek dusre ka anubhav batayein aur koi aisa khas experience jo set pe hua uh mera ek reason is film ko karne ka ashwarya ji bhi hain bahut bada reason uh aur uh, i was looking forward and uh, mere liye unko janna unko dekhna kareeb se and uh, unka kaam karne ka ek jo tarika hai और फिर इससे ज़्यादा एक्सिलेटिंग कुछ नहीं होता कि एक माँ अपने बच्चे का ध्यान रख रही है और साथ में शूट कर रही है इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी एंड ये स्टडे वी जस्ट फिनिश्ड यू नो वी कंप्लीटेड द फिल्म एंड इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल डे एंड इट वाज अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस यू नो इट्स इट इट इट्स इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ मेमोरी विल चेरिश एंड आई लव द एक्सपीरियंस आप भी कुछ बताएँ कैसा i have been saying it right from the word go he asked me another question i i answered something else because um like i said the this was the dream cast for me and i mean when i read the script it just it was him uh it's and i'm so glad uh, he came on board because it could have only been him and um it just made um, working every day so natural it, one it doesn't feel like work uh you can see why <laughs> like he said uh um, the blessing ulf curse is uh, is wonderful he just makes it um, it's it's very relaxed and yet you know you're there to do focus work as colleagues uh we have him helming it and again even him i mean uh you know when you're working even with sanjay i mean here i i i kept saying that before that here when you say sanjay gupta you know it's i i i'll use that term again testosterone infused i mean there's a sanjay gupta movie and uh, you know it was wonderful that he brought he brought and evoked that energy out of us every day in such emotional and even uh, intense moments which is which just makes working together um uh, effortless and he definitely brings that i mean irfan really really brings that out as a colleague and like i said you're a bad habit <laughs> in the way he says it as it obviously a good habit but uh, <coughs> he's a bad habit and uh, looking forward to hopefully directors willing writers willing many more experiences of working together acha ashura ji hame bataiye ki aapka ye advocate ka role bollywood industry mein dusre advocate ke role se kitna different hai <laughs> ye aap aapko hame batana hoga film dekhne ke baad <laughs> and to irfan sir like uh, ऐश्वर्या जी का ये कम है तो आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि आप पूरे साइडलाइन हो जाएंगे इस फिल्म में <laughs> मुझे एक तो इन्हें कम बैक नहीं लगता मुझे तो एक यू नो मुझे, मुझे कभी लगा ही नहीं कि वो कभी गई है कहीं एंड साइड लाइन होना कुछ अच्छी बात बुरी बुरी बात नहीं अच्छा लगेगा वो यू नो किससे साइड लाइन होना चाहिए ऐश्वर्या का किससे साइड लाइन होना है तो अच्छी बात है खूबसूरत बात है Thank you. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello Ashwarya. Hi Ashwarya. Um I have a question for Irfan and Ashwarya each. Um you know you obviously are a very private person and you don't give too many interviews. We've <laughs> seen over the years that um, you know you've kept yourself and uh, you have a few we have the Khan thing that happens and we have few things. But <laughs> you, you know a lot of actors make sure that they are in the limelight even if a movie is not there. You know they are doing events, seen a lot of things. That doesn't happen. A are you going to miss not doing that and keeping to yourself? Um and um, we also we spoke to abhishek and he told that you sometimes come on twitter but are you still going to keep yourself away from the social media and you know all that 
The social media question is uh, to be answered that I'm not on it. <laughs> I haven't been on it so far. Um, and when I go, sometimes it's on his account, and I'll, it'll be about sharing wishes and thanking, obviously, the millions of well-wishers for all their love and good wishes, which, honestly, I'm very, very grateful for. People have been so generous throughout. Another reason why I've just not felt the gap or uh, the factor that may, I may not have been making movies. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for, for, for the love. And I'll go on all your handles to say precisely that and share that with, with everybody because I, I truly mean it. And um, I have all of you to convey that as well. So at every given opportunity of a media interaction, I pretty much obviously and genuinely will um, convey to all your readers, viewers, and um, our well-wishers for all their love and blessings and good wishes and kudos and um, critiquing and the good and bad and the ugly, all that goes with the turf. When it comes to um, making sure that you're seen and being seen, um, again, I think it's not about, uh, I've, I've never been about any kind of, um, there's no plan to it, you know, there isn't any strategizing. I think I already, I, I believe I pretty much am very present <laughs> because, yeah, I do have a life. I mean, life is in the way and I live it as well. And I've always said that, you know, whether it meant making movies before marriage, uh, during marriage, literally after marriage, uh, during my pregnancy also, more than half of it, I was definitely present uh, in interacting with you all on various platforms and after motherhood as well from the third month <laughs> three and a half months and I was doing endorsements and appearances on that front. The reason I wasn't making movies is because I'm the kind of person who commits. I, I definitely respect the integrity of commitment. And um, I'm, I'm a very committed mother and I'm a very committed professional. And I will not um, give less of myself to either aspect of my life. So when I felt it was time that I could now venture out to figure out the balance. I didn't know it. I was figuring out, I still am, I'll continue to, because life changes. And in a mother's life, I think every day is a first. Uh, whether it's a one-year-old, three-year-old, five-year-old, you've never been a mother of a one-year-old, three-year-old, or a five-year-old before. So every day, and, and they're on, every day is a new day, and you keep discovering uh, what's in store in your every day. But um, when I felt I was ready to be able to balance the prioritizing, um, that's when we went ahead. I mean, Gupta and me were kind of talking for more than, what, six, six eight months before that. He, he, he sent me the idea and he kept saying, let's meet, let's meet, let's meet. But his energy and you know you're raring to go. Now, as a professional, like I said, once an artist, always an artist. We'll sit together, we're sitting right here and you're like raring to go completely. But life is in the way, you know. So um, when we were ready... There we were on the accelerator, <laughs> kicking on all, all guns blast, as we'd say in his lingo, and ready to, you know, roll. And uh, I'm glad we did when we did, because it all just seems right. It all fell in place. Sure. If one, um, you know, when we see the um, trailer, we also noticed an, an observation is that there's a lot of hero bazi, the term, if you can say it. Yeah. Like, you play beautiful characters, and, you know, then there's... Like, you know, when a Shah Rukh and a Salman, you have this certain hero stardom to it when they do it with a certain thing. This movie kind of puts you in that zone, which you usually are not, uh, you know, you, you obviously are a fantastic actor. Have you enjoyed doing that? Have you enjoyed playing the hero, hero kind of way? I don't think it put me in that zone. Uh, my zone is my zone and I won't, uh, I'll, I'll keep expanding my zone. You know, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> what the, that's what the fun is. You cannot uh, put yourself into somebody else's zone. Everybody creates their own zone. And uh, I loved it, you know, it's, and because it's a, it's a solid character and there's a solid undercurrent, uh, you know, the kind of chemistry, the kind of relationship m my character and Ashwarya's character is having, uh, it's unseen, you know, you, have, you, you haven't seen this kind of, uh, you know, uh, chemistry. Um, and uh, I loved those uh, one-liners, you know, the first day of the shoot, I s asked Sanjay, he was, he, you know, he was directing me and that Amitabh Bachchan wala scene, he said, I said, one-liners ka hai? <laughs> and then he started narrating me one after the other and I loved it. And that was my, you know, something I was propelled by. I said, I want to say them. So you enjoy that. He can say them the way he does. When you see the film, you'll know that. I'm telling you, this, this, it's an art. It's an art. Hello, Ashwarya. Ashwarya, on your left here. Uh, we have heard a singing debut in this film. Is it true? 
कुछ गाना भी गाया है आपने इस फिल्म में आ, मैं बताता हूँ अभी तक नहीं बट इंटेंशन uh, है तो ऐश्वर्या कुछ इरादा हमें इस फिल्म में या इन फ्यूचर हमें कुछ गाने आपके जुबान से सुनने को मिलेंगे बिकॉज पिछले कुछ एक साल फिलहाल जज्बा के बारे में बात करते हैं फ्यूचर के प्लान्स फ्यूचर में ही बात कर लेंगे okay. <laughs> बिकॉज पिछले कुछ एक सालों में कई सारे एक्टर ने गाना भी गाया है लाइक like आलिया भट्ट प्रियंका चोपड़ा श्रद्धा कपूर सलमान खान काफी सालों से एक्टर्स हैव संग इट्स जस्ट प्रॉबेबली मे बी दट्स नॉट अ न्यू थिंग एक्टर्स है पाज बीन सिंगिंग फॉर एवर सो इट्स नॉट अ हाल ही में लोग एक्टर्स आर सिंगिंग इट्स प्रॉबेबली गेटिंग ऑब्वियसली अ लॉप मोर इट्स इट्स वी ट्राइंग टू प्रॉब्ली डू वट्स नेचुरल टू एवरीबडी एनी वेज एंड लाइक आई सेट वी ऑल सिंग आप भी गाते हैं आप भी गाते हैं आप भी गाते हैं बिकॉज वी ऑल लव्ड आर सिनेमा म्यूजिक आई थिंक देर इज अ सिंगर इन एवरी वन ऑफ आर्स इट्स अबाउट चूजिंग टू go on and explore it's just about the choice to be made as and when you choose to do it so there is no time frame to that as to ki ab ye ho raha hai aur pehle nahi ho raha tha aisi koi baat nahi hai pehle bhi ho raha tha mere liye to inke samne khada hona mushkil tha to wo mushkil thoda dheere 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 ease out ho gayi <laughs> because inhone ease kar diya usko that was the toughest thing uh, ashwarya uh, on your left uh, ashwarya hamare industry uh, uh, हमारे ऐश्वर्य ऐश्वर्य हमारे इंडस्ट्री में हमेशा ऐसी बातें हैं कि जो दिखता है वो बिकता है तो काफी पिछले कुछ एक सालों में आप सब हंस रहे थे ना पहले ही कि अभी पता है ऐसा कोई सवाल आने वाला है तो, आ, पिछले आ, पिछले कुछ एक सालों में एज एन एक्टर क्या फील करती हैं कि ऐश्वर्या राय की पॉपुलरिटी में कुछ एक कमी आई है या उनकी पॉपुलरिटी वैसे भी है जैसे पिछले कुछ एक पांच सालों में मैं ना कोई ट्रैकिंग कंपनी हूँ ना मैं कोई एनालिसिस आई एम एन एक्टर आई एम एन एक्टर एंड आई एम योर रूम आई जॉब ये सब आप कीजिए हाँ एनालिसिस हेलो हेलो हाय क्वेश्चन टू यू इज रिगार्डिंग योर रोल हाउ डिफिकल्ट वाज इट फॉर यू टू पोट्रे अ ट्रोमाटाइज्ड मदर हु इज अबाउट टू लूज हर डॉटर एंड देन स्विचिंग ऑफ टू अ कन्विंसिंग लॉयर Uh, she does for a living <laughs> it's kind of the job of an actor no i mean this is something that we're meant to do and uh, we're in the able um, hands of uh, the director every day on set and uh, with very uh, committed responsible colleagues and um, this is what we do every day i mean um, how difficult or how convincing uh, every day at work is challenging i mean if you in so i don't think the word is difficult the word is challenging and that's what we as artists look forward to i think if it was just a blind walk in the park then I, what do you wake up and go to what would excite you so you're looking forward for that um, for that challenge that excites you that like he was saying about feeling that bell inside you, you it has to ring close you know it has to excite you it has to evoke something to want for you to be there and um, taking a time out from your from your from your reality you know we we're not leading our personal lives and coming every day to work this is not a conventional 9 to 5 job uh the job of us as artists is um, in fact very rarely defined by time <laughs> we know what time we arrive at shoot we never know what time we're necessarily going back because we are about there getting the moment captured and even if life is in the way very often we are like okay so when do you think we'll wrap and very often we are about adjusting our life around that and the only reason we do that is because we love what we do why else would we do that on a daily basis so as long as we are feeling that feeling we are there making that movie and doing that part um in terms of whether you're you're playing a mother you're playing a lawyer you're playing whatever different roles you have out there um that's what we need to bring to the table and like you said that's what we're there doing that job <laughs> it's our job to do that it's our it's our professional commitment to do just that uh, mr okay. gupta these days ever since i mean music has been an integral part of the movie uh, and uh, it carries after the movie is right. done as well so on a music perspective can you throw some light on what the audience can expect from just by this time uh, personally for me uh, the music making part is the most exciting part about my movies 
I love that whole process and there's no way uh, I could even think of a film without music in it. But uh, having said that, this is not your conventional formula film and uh, these characters cannot suddenly break into a jig and they cannot start singing songs. So we're not doing that. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no party song in the film. <laughs> so we don't have that, but yes, we do have an OST and uh, there will be songs uh, which we're working on, which would be there for the, in the OST to promote the film. I uh, love and respect that. I love and respect that. We're not, again, uh, while he obviously stated it, I think we, we all sit here and have that factor and commonality that we don't necessarily need to play into obvious conventional perception of the adages that necessarily go with the perception of what to expect. Uh, hi, uh, I have a question for the cast and the director. Of course, it's slightly away from Jazba, but hear me out. If you feel like uh, responding to it, you can. Uh, basically, uh, recently, uh, there was this infidel infidelity of website which was hacked, and uh, uh, the clients of which were majorly Indians. I would just write a, uh, want a reaction from I each of you. I think the I question... I want to react yeah. to that. Uh, the on. photographers, I think you can... Media, thank you. <laughs> request everyone to please stand up. We'd request the photographers to please come up and take it. I don't know.